Yeah. 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 Welcome to the Zulu spear making area where they make their weapons. Before I tell you more, let us greet the warrior over here by saying Saubona. Saubona. It may be in that be mean to me. It may be the kitchen. The warrior is telling us about the long throwing spear that was used by King Senza Ngakonagacha Ama, Shaka Zulu's father. Now, since Nagakona used to tie two ostrich feathers behind the spear, and whenever he's going to attack, he will throw the spear. Because of the feathers behind, it will make a sound while it's in the air. In the air. Pa, 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 pa. And then he called the long throwing spear Isi Papa. Can you say that? Isi Papa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good? Are you okay, man? Okay, don't worry, I'm around, eh? Yeah. Right! Now, Kem Zulu, as the king of the Zulus, that is when he realized that his father was a coward. Because of his father, will throw all the weapons unto the enemy. Running out of weapons, doing what? Running back to the regiment. That is when he created his own style of fighting. Breaking the long throwing spear, creating a short stepping spear, along with the big shield for protection. So whenever Zulu attacks, he will run as fast as he can close to the enemy. Close the enemy's weapons in the shield, expose the flank of the enemy. In that way, he will find a spot through the rib cage. Once Shaka Zulu stab the enemy, he will then twist it, breaking the ribs. It will make a beautiful sound. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And because of that, he then called the short stepping spear E Quack. Can you say that? E Quack. AK 47 for the Zulus. <laughs> <laughs> so let us thank the warrior by saying Sia Bonga. Sia Bonga. Sia Bonga Natinambega. Thank you too. Now you can follow me this way. <laughs> You ain't playing. Ah! Like you were afraid of. Oh, yeah. 